If one reads section 24 of the Right to Information Act, it says that the Act, that is the RTA Act, will not apply to intelligence and security organizations specified in the second schedule uh, which are established by the central government uh, or any information that is furnished by such organizations to that government except the information that is pertaining to the allegation of corruption and human rights violations are not excluded which very clearly means that uh, Schedule 2 organizations are generally exempted from the application of the Right to Information Act. However, information that is pertaining to allegations of corruption and human rights violations are permissible to be provided under the Right to Information Act. Right? And interestingly, the information sought in respect of allegation of violation of human rights shall be provided uh, within a period of 45 days. So that's very important. So these intelligence and security agencies will have to provide the said information, though they are not uh, generally available uh, for uh, RTI queries. Uh, but uh, whenever a human right uh, related information is sought, they have to give that information within 40 days. So this is something that you uh, uh, clearly find out under Section 24 of the Right to Information Act. And uh, you will notice that uh, um, the government. Uh, through notification uh, uh, that is laid down in the House of the Parliament can uh, issue uh, amendments to the Right to Information Act, especially in terms of Section 24. Now, uh, corruption and human rights violations, what are they? I think uh, uh, we will discuss that in greater detail later on. But just at this point of time, very important to note that uh, nearly 22 organizations uh, have been exempted from the normal general application of the right to information act. So we call them exempted organizations, right? Now, exempted organizations are those that uh, uh, are not generally covered uh, to provide information unless and until the information sought is for corruption and human rights violation cases. Now, you will notice that the first uh, amendment to the right to information act was in relation to uh, Schedule Two, right? So RTA has received a couple of amendments and uh, the first three amendments were only about those organizations that are to be included or exempted from the Right to Information Act. Now as originally the act stood, it had 18 organizations uh, which were part of Schedule 2 which seemed to have been exempted. Uh, however, uh, in 2005 itself, uh, four more organizations uh, were added. The list is right in front of you in the slide over there and uh, it became to 22 in total. However, in March 2008, the second amendment to the RTA was made and uh, there were additions and deletions of uh, some agencies uh, in the numerical order. And in October 2008, the third amendment also was made, which also replaced and exchanged a few uh, agencies uh, in the schedule as well. Right Now, finally, if we, one has to view uh, which is the list of exempted organizations under the Right to Information Act uh, right now uh, as it stands like this. Uh, this is uh, the list of exempted uh, organizations. Uh, first is the Intelligence Bureau, the Research and Analysis Wing of the Cabinet Secretary, Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, Central Economic Intelligence Bureau, Directorate of Enforcement, Narcotic Control Bureau, Aviation Research Center, Special Frontier Force, Border Security Force, Central Reserve Police Force, Indo Tibetan Border Police, Central Industrial Security Force, National Security Guard, Assam Rifle, uh, Shastra Senabal, Director General of Income Tax, National Technical Research Organization, Financial Intelligence Unit of India, Special Protection Group. Defense Research and Development Organization, Border Road Development Group, and finally the National Security Council Secretary. So I think these are the list of exempted organizations that uh, we have under the Right to Information Act, for which uh, uh, the RT Act does not 